Praveen Halapan Nawar has given a first television interview to an Irish TV channel recounting his wife's death. He says he has no faith in the HSC probe and wants an independent inquiry. Take a look. Well, um, the name Savita stands for full of sweet. You know, she was always uh, full of life. I'm um, very outgoing. Um, you know, and um, she used to socialize with people. She made friends very quickly. And, um, you know, she used to never keep anything for herself. So she, she knew what she wanted in life. Very organized, smart. Yeah, everything was going well. You know, she, we had a, a normal dinner at home. You know, and um, then we went to bed at around, um, uh, you know, 10, 10.30. I believe and um, she didn't seem to be comfortable you know it all started in the midnight you know uh, early morning I suppose I didn't check the time but um and uh, then in the morning she when I woke up at around um, 7 seven thirty, she said um, she's getting uh, you know severe back pain you know and uh, uh, we, I immediately ran the hospital and uh, you know we were told to come in so what happened then and then we were sent back, you know, and I said, um, uh, you know, we were told that there's um, uh, nothing wrong, you know, everything is fine. It's just that, you know, it's her back pain. And we came back, had a breakfast, and um, Savita went to the toilet again, you know, she went to the uh, bathroom. Uh, I was still not finished with my breakfast. She came out, uh, you know, uh, she was in shock. Uh, she, her, she, she, she had tears in her eyes and, um, you know, she, she just, um, she, she, she looked, uh, you know, in uh, 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 shock, basically. She came crying and uh, said, uh, look, there is something wrong. I'm not, uh, you know, uh, she said, I'm not well. Um, we need to go. Immediately, I just pulled my jacket and I uh, rushed to the hospital again. And I was told to wait outside, uh, you know, the room when um, they were doing the checks. And then I saw the midwife nurse, uh, you know, uh, going out and she was looking for a register. Uh, they got the register in. And um, after a few minutes, I was called in. And when I went in, I saw Savita in tears and she was, uh, you know, her heart was broken. Like she, she, I could feel there is something gone wrong. You know, she, she was uh, devastated basically. And the doctor said, "Are you okay to talk?" I said, "Yes." And then um, he held my hand and said, uh, "Look, it's a miscarriage. I'm so sorry that uh, you know um, they won't be able to. Uh, you know." He said, basically, the baby won't survive. We just had time for ourselves, so we talked, you know, and um, she, was, she just kept on asking, why did it happen to me? Why me? She was so happy. She said, why did God do this to us? You know, mm -hmm. what's wrong did we do? Uh, then the doctor came outside the registrar, basically, and um, he told me that, uh, uh, you know, it'll all be over in a few hours, you know. Uh, I was concerned. I asked him specifically, what do you mean few hours, you know? Uh, he said, uh, maybe four to five hours, you know, so it'll all be over and then you can go home. Yeah. Savita was taken for a scan in the ground floor, you know, uh, on the wheelchair. And um, uh, all the nurses there came, held her hand and said, you know, they're so sorry. And, uh, you know, they were very kind, you know, they were very sympathetic. And uh, they sympathized and um, I took her in the scanning room. I was there. I asked if I can accompany her. They said yes. And I uh, went in, they scanned. And the minute she saw the monitor, the fetus heartbeat, uh, you know, pumping, she again broke out, you know, like she, she, she started crying. She said she can't take it. And immediately the midwife nurse switched off the monitor. Basically, the fetus was still, uh, you know, uh, mm -hmm. The heart, she could, she could see the heartbeat of the fetus and, uh, you know, she couldn't take it. She said, uh, look, I can't take this, you know, um, please, I can't take it. She said, she, she was, um, she was broken, basically, you know, she, 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 her heart was broken. She, she had, uh, she still, uh, you know, couldn't believe it that it has happened to her. She was in a shock and, um, every time they did a scan or, you know, they did a heartbeat check, her heart, you know, Oh, basically she, she was in terrible pain and then we came back to the ward and the gyna came after some time and said um, you know that um, sorry the fetus is still alive so we can't do anything and um, Savita said no I can't take it you know please terminate you know she requested and then the gynec said, okay, check and come back because Savita was so insisting that she basically she wanted to go back, you know, go home 
we were as i said you know we were waiting for um, you know the doctor to come back to us uh, you know on the termination and uh, we were waiting and um the doctor came uh, you know um for the morning rounds at around 10:30 um along with the two other uh, junior doctors there was the midwife nurse um, you know and um also we had a close friend of us visiting us as well in the room and um the i mean so as soon as savita saw the uh, doctor she was anxious to know and you know what is her response or feedback and um the doctor said um Uh, unfortunately you know the fetus is still alive and uh, you know uh, it's catholic country and uh, we won't be able to uh, terminate um that's what uh, the doctor said and then savita was um, you know uh, insisting that you know it's not a she is not a catholic and uh, she's not irish, irish either so why impose the law on her and was it after that probing she started to get very ill when did she deteriorate and start getting ill? it all started on tuesday late night you know um it was around um, at 12 uh, her temperature was high uh, the bp was low uh, blood pressure was low and she didn't want to go through the scanning process again they decided to do a heartbeat check this time you know the portable just listen mm-hmm. to the heartbeat of the fetus and then they did that so, you know kind of a relief that you know it's it's uh, she, she she should be fine now it will all be over in few hours and you know we'll go home she said honey it was a girl some nurse there had told her that it was a girl and uh, then um, she said they want to move uh, savita to the hdu you know the high dependency unit i waited there for nearly half an hour and then went in um so it was on me and uh, she asked me for parents have reached home safely i said yes i received a text from my brother and uh, that was the last word i heard with her that was the last word on thursday afternoon uh, i managed to talk to the doctor i was told that um so with i expect um, you know septicemia uh, septic shock I didn't know what septicemia is. Uh, I assumed that it's something to the shock, you know, that she went through, you know, when she had a miscarriage or, you know, when she came to know that it was a, a girl child. Um, every time I went in, they told that she's young and she will fight it, you know. And, um, and so that's the confidence I had at the time, you know, like, uh, and uh, I thought she'll be fine. She'll come back at least for her father, if not for me. on saturday things had really start getting worse um, you know they were talking about putting her on dialysis and to see if it would improve the infection you know and uh, since friday her body had started swelling you know she was looking big uh, her tummy had bulged you know she was um, when i touched her hand it was like rock solid um she looked really very you know sick I mean, you know, she she was very ill. I could see that. On Saturday morning, um, the doctor um, asked me to come into his office, and he had a chat with me, uh, saying that I think you know we should tell people, uh, you know, all her folks and family, you know, that she is very very ill. At around um, one o'clock on Saturday night. midnight uh, the nurse came looking for me basically uh, by this time i had told all my friends and they had all you know there were nearly 30 to 40 of them waiting outside with me in the icu and um, i just go on to the chapel you know on the ground floor you know just to pray you know that for her health you know to get well soon and uh, you know to pray and uh, i just came up and when i just came up the nurse was looking for me and, uh, when i went there was a big team you know they were trying to pump her heart and uh, the minute the doctor saw me she came and uh, held my hand and said um, you know what's happening i said yes and uh, she said we are losing her she is dying and um, that's it at around uh, the 5 minutes uh, we lost her 
I have seen the way my wife Savita was treated, so I have no confidence that HSC will do justice. Basically, I don't have any confidence in HSC. We want a public inquiry because there was nothing happening for two weeks. I had to answer the family back home. They just kept asking, have I taken any action? Because everyone in the family were in a shock. You know, when they couldn't save the baby, why wait? We want, it was a planned pregnancy. We were so happy. We wanted to have the baby. We kept asking, is there any way to revert back? If they could save the baby or, you know, put a stitch on the womb or, you know, stop the fluid leaking. We were told, no, there is no way to revert back. So we were insisting or requested so many times for a termination and we were not given. 